The culture of Nashville was largely undiscovered outside of this region up until the last eight or 10 years ago. They knew it as Music City and they think of guitars when they look at it, but it had so much more to offer. My name is Matt Alexander. I run Holler Design, a design build studio in Nashville, Tennessee. My dad and I bought a sawmill. We started working with logs that we could get on the farm and there's about 700 acres here. This has been part of our family for almost 200 years now. I realized that I could make anything if I just found out the way to make it. I was at a craft fair called Porter Flea. I met Phil Krychek of Rolf and Daughters. Phil and his family came up to me in my booth. Never met him before. He pointed at a chair. I had my booth and he said, if I ask you to make 60 of those, can you cut me a deal? I said, yes. <laughs> There's been this increase in the maker culture around here. With all the businesses popping up right now, a lot of us make the joke that if you're not busy in Nashville right now, you're doing something wrong. Fort Houston is kind of an incubator for these small businesses that need a space to work in. Usually one of the most difficult things is just finding that space and getting a good community behind you. Bar Luca was kind of a unique project for us because I'm part of the owner team as well. We wanted it to be a bar designed and ran by people in the community. We were actually designing a place for us, essentially. <laughs> the Ryman is just the spirit of Nashville right there in one space. Every now and then you can see a little chip where there's paint taken off. You see all the different colors that's been painted over the years the quality, the music, the performers. You see these people that are just like as amazed that they're there as everybody else is. West Elm has been really supportive of local maker community. For me, it's been great. It gives me the opportunity to just reach a broader audience. It's fun to get to know them, find out their story. We do at least one and try to do two local artisan events every month. It kind of makes us feel like we're not just here selling West Elm products, we're actually here supporting our community, collaborating with them just on a personal level. Nashville is growing and to be able to really help them get their names and their products out there is phenomenal. <laughs>